I remember this as if it was just yesterday. I had walked about a mile to fetch drinking water. And at the tap, Chukudi, an older neighbor, asked me what I was going to be when I grew up. Without thinking, I said I was going to be a medical doctor. And even though I was just 10 years of age and a kid from a poor neighborhood, that dream was real to me. Because my dad had taught me to believe in myself. And I believed that I could conquer any obstacle to my dream to make the world a better place. But nine years later, as I traveled 12 hours on a bus from Lagos to Calabar, within weeks, I became ill. My dream literally died as soon as it became real. Crunching headaches, burning fevers, but yet I went to class. At any cost, I wanted to be in medical school. But I died. I lapsed into a coma, and I remained unresponsive for two weeks. When I came back to life, I had lost my hearing to complications of meningitis. Meningitis is common in northern Nigeria. And this is because northern Nigeria lies in a climate zone known as the meningitic belt. This climate zone extends from the shores of Senegal in the west to the hills of Ethiopia in the east, running across the northern aspects of West Africa. And in this region, every year, thousands of young adults and children get ill with meningitis. 10% of them die, no matter what you do. I was one of the few that survived, and for that age, I was lucky. I had never been to the north of my country, but when I traveled between Lagos and Calabar, which were both in the south, it was a time of unusual heat. The climate had changed. And I wonder, was climate change widening the belt? And it extended to the south of our country. And was that why I got meningitis? Was I vaccinated? Was that vaccine of any good? Now, I dream. I dream again of doing things to stop this from happening. Because I returned to medical school, I became a physician. I am now a, research, a researcher in public health. But the reality still goes on. And this year, as we speak, Nigeria is battling the worst outbreak of meningitis in recent years. This year alone, there have been 17,000 cases with nearly 1,000 deaths. But like I said, I dream. I now work at the global intersection of, global, of environmental health and infectious diseases because I've always wondered what is the connection between climate change and human health. And my work is now very fulfilling, and so I dream. I dream of a day when tapping our resources does not put any danger to human health. I dream of a day when everybody has access to universal primary health care. But in my country, poverty, lack of education, lack of political will, and religious extremism by groups such as Boko Haram have impeded the delivery of good health care. But I still dream. And I know that as we work together, this dream will come true. Thank you.